Hey guys, it's Newsday Tuesday again, and there's a new featured summon. It's Lightning Returns, Solitary Patron Snow, and new Vision Awakenable Sarah from FF13 too. So let's get into it. So Sarah and the new new unit, Solitary Patron Snow, are on the way. Drop rates increase starting March 11, and um, it will end on 3:24. We can perform an 11 summon again. Uh, to get those and it's still the standard um, panel summon you can get SEMRs, Fragments and Lapis as well as Tickets alright so this is Solitario Patron Snow from Lightning Returns FF13 um, he's a physical tank in his base form and he will be a magic tank in his brave shift form he can also do some damage using his LB and finisher skills and brave brave shift form and also in his base form so i'm making i already made a preview or review of him so i'll upload it after this um upload this news um video so watch out for that i'll also post a link in the description so you can just click on it and when you finished watching this video all right, so just a brief look at his um, SEMR, TMR, and Vision card. His SEMR is called the Crystallized Claw Defense and Spirit 175 flat. So that's all there is to it. No special abilities whatsoever. And TMR is a uh, Hero Rides. Boost Defense and Spirit by 40% and Boost HP by 750. I think that's the first materia that gives um, static HP 750. And then um, vision card is 500 years of grief, level 1 defense spirit but plus 30 and HP 500 and level 10 defense spirit plus 60 HP 1000. There are abilities that unlock at 4, 7, and 10. We'll take a look at that later. Some of his abilities include physical cover in his base form, chance of temporarily guarding allies against physical damage. And also Heroic Guard, consume own LB gauge to reduce damage taken by Caster. It's his static brave ability, that means he shares it with her, his brave shift form. So I think that's 90% damage mitigation for general damage. He needs to um, use his LB gauge to uh, use that skill, Heroic Guard. And in his brave shift form, his attack is Damnation. Uh, damage caster for 50% and damage one enemy. So that's his finisher skill that scales off of his spirit. And then magic spirit of chaos, that's his um, spirit buff. And also re reduces magic damage taken for all allies, 50%. And also boosts resistance to spirit reductions for caster, 100%. Alright guys, um, let's take a look at Sarah. She can now be Neo Vision Awakened. So that is her shift form. Her base form is a magic at magic attacker and in shift form she will be a healer. Alright, so just a reminder, her trust ma uh, super trust master reward is called the Enchanting Archer, boost mag by 60, boost and mag by 20 when equipped with a bow, and equipment mag when single wielding a weapon in, when single wielding a weapon. And then Secretarius FF 13 2, attack 76, mag 145, two handed bow, activate void piercing arrow, boost magic damage against avian monsters. And then she will gain uh, uh, abilities in her standard form um, Stone Blow, deal earth magic damage and reduce earth resistance for one enemy, and boost mag for caster. And she gains Shining Shot, kind of similar to. Um, Venus attack, right? Spell Evocation Gauge and deal light magic damage to one enemy. That's her static brave ability shared with her brave shift form. And then let's go to her brave shift abilities. Lunar Blessing, one use every three turns, consume Evocation Gauge to fill LB Gauge, cure all status, including um, stop. All right, uh, what, what is it missing? Uh, stop. Charm, it's missing charm, right? And Berserk, all right? And then boost resistance to reductions to attack, defense, magic, and spirit. And activate barrier for all allies. That's a handy skill to have. And then last is her Grandis, Waltz of the Fairies. Three uses for battle, restore HP and remove and boost resistance to stop. 
Oh, so this is her charm um, heal skill. Stop charm and attack defense magnet spirit reductions for all allies and automatically revive all allies one time. One time. Sounds um, awesome. This video is sponsored by Amazon Coins. Get 10,000 Amazon Coins for $80 instead of 100 That's a savings of 20%. You can use the Amazon Coins to buy Lapis for FFPE. I placed a link in the description below. Check it out after you watch the video. If you enjoy content like this, consider subscribing. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Azure. I upload FFP and gaming content every day on this channel. If that's something you're interested in, then consider subscribing. You can also leave a like rating on the video as well and check me out at various social media. Links in the description. All right, along comes a raid event, Grand, Grand Chaos. Uh, Lightning returns at FF13. So this is the raid. Um, Let's see. So we're fighting the Chocobo Eater. We can get um, Chocobo Eater coins. Okay. And then we'll get exclusive equipment. So this is the Glacial Axe. Attack 136. Defense and Spirit by 32. Activate Twin Sisters Protection. I think that means Shiva's. Boost Ice and Water uh, Resistance by 20%. So if you didn't play Lightning Returns, um, is Eidolon or Esper. Snow's Esper is Shiva, but it's not just one Shiva, it's two Shivas, twin sisters. All right, next is Patron's Garb, uh, HP 400, attack 28, and defense and spirit 33. Activate to protect one's friends, boost HP when equipped with an axe or fist. Okay, sounds good in snow. And then Sarah's Pendant, um, activate Dogged Hero, boost equipment, defense, and spirit when single axe or fist is equipped and one or both hands. So also useful on snow if you don't have anything better to put on him. Okay, so we get we get new enhanced equipable abilities, which is the attacker. I think this was covered in the previous news um, segment. But um, boost MP attack and mag by 50, only FF13 units. And then defender boost, boost HP defense spirit by 50, uh, FF13 units again. Um, this is still good on NB Snow. And then, then Thunderfall reduce resistance to lightning and deal lightning damage to all enemies. Fill own LB gauge to FF13 units only. So useful for FF13 units again, <laughs> obviously. Um, okay, I think that's it. We get some character bonuses here. So obviously Envy Snow, Envy Sarah, uh, Sarah, and all the Lightning variants will get 60% bonus. And the rest, 7 stars, will get 40. And the non-7 stars will get 20 and 10% respectively. Uh, it comes with a raid box summon, so we can get all the, the rewards in the box. So make sure to clear that. And we get a daily bonus challenge against Chaos Ballad, the main villain for FF... What? FF13 too? Okay, uh, so... Uh, we're gonna get 200% unit bonuses from these units, units when we do the daily bonus challenge. So we can, we can clear it each day to get VIP coins. And I think we clear the missions so we can get NVX tickets and Super Trust Mughal Exchange tickets and Lapis. All right, so we get a new challenge of the Brave bound across time. Make sure to farm that if you plan to awaken Terra's and Envy Snow's abilities. We get a rerun of piercing, piercing Conviction, caught between virtues and vices. Goddesses of the Coast and at the mercy of Magitek and Seekers of Peace. Okay, so this is a quick, uh, uh, deeper look at 500 Years of Grief. So level four ability is boost HP when equipped with an axe or fist. And then seven is still the same. And then level 10 Everlasting Memories boost equipment and defense in spirit when single axe or fist is equipped in one of or both hands requirement melee unit this will be great on envy snow since he is a dual tank and then another uh vision card here from riser i think uh, no matter the cost level four is boost lightning earth resistance by 15 level seven boost lightning earth resistance by 15 again and then level 10 drive to protect the kingdom 
boost attack and defense by 20 and boost lighting and earth resistance by 30 only ffp units only at level 10 it gives attack 60 and defense 30 not not really great oh we get we get more details about the encounter of heroes so encounter of heroes is from the ffbe uh collaboration with war of the visions we can get this if we log in so part of the login bonus level one attack defense magic spirit 20 okay level 10 attack defense magic spirit 40 all of those stats 40 flat i'm not sure how to feel about that level 4 boost defense and spirit by 40 that's pretty big so this is a defensive stat, uh, vision card and then level 7 boost fire and earth resistance by 30 okay and then last level 10 emotional resonance is boost attack and mag by 40 percent so actually it just boosts um all stats by 40 and also gives flat stats 40 um i'm not sure and boost fire and earth resistance by 30. i think that's from rain all right maybe it's a good vision card or supports i think as they need the defense and mag or for hybrids hybrids kind of low attack and mag um not sure what this is good for but it's free so i now like the artwork okay there's a new quest in the chamber of the fallen new foe has appeared it's called the gargantuan gargantuan grub in the sand so insect type monster no weaknesses its powerful attacks can be prevented by using attack items sandworm, sandworm is an insect type monster uh, using abilities that reduce physical damage may be effective okay so we bring a physical tank we can get the a phoenix down <laughs> all right and lapis and king burst spots and just moogles when we complete the pro difficulty we get a desert zapper attack 183 activate sandworm slayer boost equipment attack when a single weapon is equipped in one or or both hands oh and then star quartz king burst spots and lapis again and when we finish the elt difficulty we get um Lapis, Trust Moogle, Super Trust Moogle Tickets, and Spirit Eater Sense. Boost attack and mag by 40 and boost physical damage against fairies. That's nice. Um, Spirit Killer is kind of rare. Okay, so we get more details about the collaboration event, uh, Sp Sprouts of Devouring. So we already knew about Warriors, warriors Who be Bear the Light and also a Frightful Mutation. But this one is new, Endings and Beginnings. We'll start on 325 and on 4.9. So, uh, all right. I think they extended the... Yes, I think it was till the 25th, right? Or 28th. I'm not sure. I have to go back. But uh, when we uh, participate in this event, we can get War of the Visions collaboration Marble Mar Marlboro coins for amazing rewards. So we can exchange those for things. Also from a Frightful Mutation, but we don't get any coins for endings and beginnings, right? No coins there. Um, so this is what it looks like, the Marlboro coin. We can trade um, for an Omni Prism. Montleonis himself, his Prism. And then Anti-Decay Amulet and Sleep Blade War of the Visions FFP. So this is the Anti-Decay Amulet, um, defense and spirit by 40, good and envy snow, nullify, poison, blind, sleep, silence. So all statuses except charm and stop. And then activate tentacle tolerance, boost defense and spirit by 15. Um, okay. And then boost resistance to status reductions at the end, of, at the beginning of battle or after being, being revived. All right, that's a cool um, accessory there. So you'll be immune to all, almost all of the statuses and also to stat breaks. 
All right, the moment you've been waiting for, guys. Daily Fragment Challenge is back. Get fra five frag fragments for every Envy unit you bring with you. Clear the challenge once a day. So this will last for 14 days. So 14 times five, that's 70. 70 fragments you can farm for your NV or NVA units. So make sure to do this every day. Um, plan ahead so you can uh, awaken your favorite NV units or units that you need their SUMR or vision cards. So make sure to be careful on who to awaken because transcension pearls are kind of rare. Okay, more good news. Enjoy half energy cost for all seasons. So I think I have some some story seasons three story quest to finish. This is a welcome uh, news because I was uh, I used all my energy to farm the K King Mog event. Also, ch all chambers will be open. Chamber of Awakening experience riches in creation and lastly crystals. Till um, April 7, so that's a long campaign period. So make sure to take advantage of the chambers open. All right, there will also be amazing enhancements. So if you haven't leveled up any of your units yet, waiting for this um, event, uh, you can do so now. It also runs till um, April 7. Okay, so this is the login bonus from XS, FF Exvius Universe, two heroes, two heroines login bonus. So I think it'll last till day 16. So day one, we get the vision card, encounter of heroes, uh, some VIP coins, lapis, guaranteed tickets, and then uh, NVX ticket, and then a transcension pearl on day 10. That's a welcome sight. <clears throat> some more lapis and some more tickets. We get um, a UOC ticket, two UOC tickets on day 18. And on day 20, we get guaranteed ticket uh, you can use on a banner, five and NV, and then day 21 VIP coins. So 21 days of login, guys. Make sure to login every day. These are good um, login rewards. All right, we're also getting a special uh, bundle and exchange shop so we can get the vi uh, vision card enhancement gold chest uh, bundle contents are vision card select ticket one of those and metal gigantors uh, eight so what can we select so we can exchange for mad dash in order to change the world planet whisper guiding the youth the heartless sage judge magister battle with the black knights too cool for the summer and Madam and the giant bird. Okay, so, so just looking at the list, I think Heartless Sage is the rarest one. That's the only one with or magic damage dealers. They're kind of rare, the, those vision cards. So if you if you do buy this bundle, um, think about getting the Heartless Sage. Because there's um, so far, I think there's only two uh, magic vision cards. A Heartless Sage and Demon Who Learned Humanity from Ibarra. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, let me see. What else is a good vision card? Maybe Too Cool for Summer? Or your Magic Tank? Alright. Okay, some more login bonuses. So to a new world login bonus, we get uh, 30 solitary patron snow fragments, 20 Sarah fragments, and a bunch of lapis, and a VIP coin, and a rare summon ticket. Okay, that's good. So, like I said before, you don't have to awaken uh, to buy the bundle for solitary snow. If you do get him, don't buy the bundle yet, the 50 fragment bundle, because you can just wait a few... Uh, wait till next week so you can buy um, NV Snow's Fragments in the VIP shop. You only need um, 20 more. So use your VIP coins to buy the 20 more and then you can awaken him to EX1. But uh, if you really want to uh, get his SEMR, um, welcome to buy the 5000 Lapis Bundle. Alright, here's the last piece of news exchange shop you the usual exchange shop 
um, eight summon coins for the unit itself. He can exchange for Envy Snow's fragments and also Sarah's fragments and uh, Transcendent Pro. Alright guys, that's all the news for now. So quick summary, we're getting uh, Solitary Patron Snow and Sarah. We're fighting the, the Sandworm trial. We're also getting a bunch of items from the raid box, so make sure to do the raid. Uh, we're also getting some nice login bonuses from the FFB and War Division co collaboration. And also from the events um, connected to the collaboration. Don't forget to share the Facebook post and tweet the tw uh, retweet the tweets from FFBE uh, to get a chance to win physical items from FFBE. Also post a, post a screenshot, right? Um, let's reach the milestone so we can get those free items and uh, look out for my review for Envy Snow and maybe Sarah if I have time. Um, not many people watch the NVA reviews so I think uh, I'm kind of wasting my time making those but uh, let me know uh, otherwise if you really like me to make uh, Neo Vision Awakenable reviews. Uh, but definitely I will post uh, Envy Snow's review review soon. So thanks guys, uh, my name is Zuri again. Uh, if you're new here, I make FFP and gaming content uh, every day, post them on the channel. So if you're interested in that, make sure to subscribe. If you're already a subscriber, click like and share. And I uh, thank you for all the support. Uh, till, till I see you on the next video. Bye-bye.